Hello and welcome to a magic unboxing. Here we've got the Armand Kit Planeswalker deck, Liliana Deathwielder, on a Chandra mat, but we can look past that. Cardboard, recyclable, plastic case. I'm sure some of you will use that for something else. The thing that they're doing now is giving you a little cardboard deck box, which is actually kind of appreciated. Well, I think it is. So you got Liliana, Death Wielder, in foil. Only way to get her is to either buy her on her own or get this deck. Plus two, put a minus one, minus one counter on up to one target creature, minus three. Destroy target creature with a minus one, minus one counter on it. So put a one, one, or minus one, minus one, then destroy it the next turn. Awesome. Return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, minus ten. And she's a seven cost and starts off with five loyalty. So I feel like you wouldn't see her every day but when you get her out she's pretty cool. Uh, two boosters, deck itself, the little guide that you know gives you suggestions on how to play the deck, a little bit of background on Liliana, also gives you a card list, pretty cool picture too. There's your background there. Quick reference, which for long time players is kind of useless. For new players, it's very, very basic. Right, into the deck. Oh, it's got me. It's got me. Right. So it looks like it is a green black deck. I say that because. This is, you know, a surprise to me. Um, I haven't been watching any kind of set reviews or anything on YouTube like I used to do because I feel like me encountering the card the first time during this is more beneficial to you. The reactions when it's something really good, it's a bit more genuine than, oh, there's that really awesome thing that I've already seen before. All right, channel it, initiate. It's a one one, so one colorless, one green, three four. It already sounds pretty good. When Channeler initiate it, initiate enters the battlefield, it put three minus one minus one counters on target creature you control. Tap it, remove a minus one minus one counter from Channeler initiate, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So you could put the minus three on it and it would still live because it would still have one. Okay. Oracle's Vault, it's an artifact, a four cost. Two, tap it, exile top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card, put a brick counter on Oracle's Vault. So it's pretty much a Sphinx. Tap it again, Ex well, obviously a separate turn. Exile the top card of your library until the end of turn. You may play that card without playing its mana cost. Activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters on Oracle's Vault. So you want bricks on that one. And, uh, Basically, there's a random card that you get that gives you little bricks, which is kind of cute. Right, so we've got Liliana's Influence, 6 cost. Put a minus 1, minus 1 counter on each creature you don't control, so obviously your opponent. You may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Liliana Deathwielder, so her. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it, which should go without saying. So you get two of those. It's a uh, festering money. Uh, festering. Festering. Festering mummy. I have money on the mind, obviously. Uh, when it dies, put a 1-1, one, one, minus 1, minus 1 counter on target creature. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1, so it's going to die pretty quick anyway. Dune Beetle. It's a 2 cost, 1-4. That'll stay around for a turn or two. You get two of those. Tattered Mummy. It's a zombie jackal. It looks awesome. It's a 1-2. 
costs you one colourless and one black. When tattered mummy dies, each opponent loses two life. Oh, oh, you get four. I think jackals are pretty cool looking creatures. But that's just me. Crocodile Demon. Interesting. Baleful Amit. Amit. Mit. You guys figure it out. Eight. Two colorless, one black. Lifelink. When this guy, whose name I can't pronounce, enters the battlefield, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature you control. But as lifelink, which is handy. You get two of those. Desiccated Naga. Zombie Naga. It's a 3-2 and it costs you 3. So 2 colorless, 1 black. 3 uh, down in the box, obviously. Uh, 3 colorless, 1 black. Target opponent loses 2 life and you gain 2 life. Activate this ability only if you control a Liliana Planeswalker. So it's not just the Liliana that comes with this deck, it's any Liliana. So you get 3 of those. Grave Digger. Hmm, interesting. So three colorless, one black, creature zombie, funnily enough. When Grave Digger enters a battlefield, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand, and it's a 2-2. So, yeah, it's going to be useful in the sense that you can block some random thing with it, and you can bring something useful back. But you've got two of them, so you, they could keep bringing each other back. Crocodile of the Crossing. It's a crocodile, has haste. In the battlefield, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature you control. It's a 5 4 for 3 and 1 forest. Right. Next one Giant Spider. It has reach, so it can block your flies. So it's probably one of the only things with flying. Well, reach and the only thing in the stick that can deal with flying so far. Uh, 3 colors, 1 forest, 2 4, so eh, might save you for a turn. Get two of those. Decimated Beetle. It looks like it's trying to be a Triceratops. Uh, three colors, one black, one green. When Decimated Beetle enters the battlefield, put a one, uh, minus one, minus one counter on target creature you control. Whenever Decimated Beetle attacks, remove a minus one, minus one counter from target creature you control and put a minus one, minus one counter on top of one on up to one target creature defending player controls. So that could be useful with all this other stuff. Alright. Four foul orchards. And this is a bit of field tapped, gives you black or green mana. Uh, grasping dunes. Add diamond mana to your mana pool. Uh, one colourless. Tap it, sacrifice it, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature you control uh, anytime you use a uh, sorcery. Alright, swamps. Lots of swamps. Forests. Lots of forests. Trail of Ambition. One colorless, one black. When Trial of Ambition enters the battlefield, target opponent sacrifices a creature. When a cartouche enters the battlefield under your control, return battle uh, re into the battlefield under your control. Return target Trial of Ambition to its owner's hand. Okay, I don't know what a cartouche is. Well, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is in the sense you get two of those. Edifice of Authority, three cost. One colorless tap it, target creature can't attack this turn. Put a brick counter on this card. One tap it until your next turn, target creature can't attack or block, and it's activated. Abilities can't be activated. And three or more brick counters. So you're going to be collecting bricks, it seems. Uh, Luxa River Shrine. Gain one life, put one brick counter. Tap it, you gain two life, activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters on this card. So, life gain and bricks. Okay, Cartouche of Ambition. Right. Enchant creature you control. When Cartouche of Ambition enters the battlefield, you may put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. Enchanted creature gets 
plus one plus one in his lifelink. You get two of those. Splendid Agony. This guy looks in pain, funnily enough. Distribute two minus one mount minus one counters among one or two target creatures. And it's an instant and two colorless one black. So there's two. Uh, we're almost to the end of the main deck. Cartouche of Strength. It's the two colorless one forest. Enchantment or a cartouche. Enchant creature you control. When cartouche of strength enters the battlefield, you may have enchanted creature fight target creature in opponent controls. Enchanted creature gets mono, uh, plus one plus one and has trample. And last card, Gift of Paradise, two colors, one green, Enchant Land, when Gift of Paradise enters the battlefield you gain three life, tap it, add two mana of any color to your mana pool. It's awesome. This looks like it could be an interesting deck, lots of plus ones and minus ones and stuff happening. Now the fun part, the boosters. Right, we're going to skip straight to a full art land, a token creatures zombie human cleric, Tesmet Visor of Narcoman is legendary at the beginning of combat. Yeah, two two. I don't know his cost or how you get him, but interesting. Sweltering Suns, uh, one colors to read, deals three damage to each creature, has cycling three, discard this card, draw a card. Um, Bird Soldier, or oh, I can't pronounce half these names. Oketra's Attendant, it has Flying, it's a 3 3 for 5, has Cycling, has Embalm. Exile this card from your graveyard, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a white zombie bird soldier with no mana cost. Embalm only as a sorcery. Interesting. Uh, what other cool things are there? Hyena Pack, uh, 4 cost, 3 4. Nothing else. Cartouche of Strength, we've already seen. Deserter's Deliverance, destroy target artifact. Cycling one, discard this card, draw a card, and two cost. Final reward, exile target creature. That could be handy in this deck. Zombie Jackal, Mismic Mize, Mummy, when this guy, because I'm not sure on the name, enters the battlefield, each player discards a card. So each player being your opponent as well. Bene, benefaction of Ronus. Reveal the top five cards of your library. You may put a creature card and or enchantment card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. And it's a three cost. Heck, heck my sentinel, sentinels. Human Cleric creature, whenever you cycle or discard a card, hit my Sentinel scans plus one plus one onto the end of turn. It's a three cost and it's a two three. Potential there. Trial of Knowledge enchantment. When Trial of Knowledge enters the battlefield, draw three cards, then discard a card. When a cartouche enters the battlefield, under your control, return Trial of Knowledge shits on his hand. Four cost. And uh, not, uh, <coughs> Naga Warrior, it has Embalm, which is the Exile when create a token copy. Um, it's a 2 1 for 2. Dead Jeru's Resolve, untap target creature, prevent all damage that would be dealt to it this turn. Cycling 2. Cool. And the last one from that pack Minotaur Archer, Minotaur Sure Shot. It has reach, which is always handy. Uh, one colorless, one red. Minotaur Sure Shot gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. And it's a two, three, four, three. Uh, 
for our last pack and then we're done and then you guys can go check out some more videos. Skipping straight to... Hey, that's the thing that gives you the exerted or embalmed tokens and the brick counters. Alright. Pull from tomorrow. X cost, which means however many mana you, mana you like, and to blue. Draw X cards, then discard a card. That's awesome. A mountain... Minotaur Warrior, Blood Blood Rage Brawler. 4-3 for, for 2 when Blood Rage Brawler enters the battlefield, discard a card. So that could go very well in a red black deck. Nimble play something. Jackal Warrior has prowess, which is all good. It's a 1-3 for 2. It's nice to see that Wizards has kept prowess as a thing. Because, you know, it was in um, Khan, so it was all good to see it, but it's still here. Right. Uh, sparring Mummy. Okay. When Sparring Mummy enters the battlefield, untap target creature. It's a 3-3 three, three for 4. It's unusual to see a white zombie. Naga Oracle. It's a Naga Cleric. 2-4 four for 4 cost. When Naga Oracle enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library, put any number of them onto your graveyard, uh, into your graveyard, and the rest back on top of your library in any order. So that could be quite useful if you're not getting what you need. There's a uh, Tormenting Voice. So they've changed, uh, it's the same card that you used to see Sarkhan's face on. Uh, draw two cards, discard a card. So that's all good. Haze of Pollen. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Cycling 3, 2 cost. That could be very useful. Festering Mummy we've already met. Hyena Pack we've already met. Hooded Brawler, another Naga. You may, you may exert Hooded Brawler as it attacks. When you do it, it gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. An exerted creature won't untap during your next untap step. So that could be interesting. Luxor River Shrine. No, you've already seen that one. Compulsory Rest. It's a white card. Uh, two cost. Enchant Creature. Enchant Creature can't attack or block. Enchant Creature has two. Sacrifice this creature, you gain two life. Interesting. Trial of Ambition, you've already seen. And the last one, Sacred Excavation. Return up to two target cards with your with cycling from your graveyard to your hand. So that is the blog, the Liliana deck. Uh, thanks for watching. Multiple mistakes there, but that is all good. Hope you enjoyed and maybe learnt something. So as always, I do appreciate your time.